Hey guys. Okay. Breathing. Didn't know this was going to be part of it, did you? <laughs> Are you like, what is she doing? I'm telling you guys, trust the process. I know in the beginning, every client I've ever worked with has been like, okay, I don't know why we're doing this. And I have to just tell you again, trust the process, trust the way we're doing this. And I know it sounds dumb. I'm giving you guys all of these techniques so that you have them in the background so that as they come up and as you need them, you'll be able to have them in play. So it's almost like I'm just getting all the basics out of the way so that you can have this in your back pocket, right? So that if you need it, you've got it. Breathing is one of the most important things that I can cover regardless of what kind of program or what you're doing to work with me because so many of us live in such a state of rush, 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 hurry, 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 got to get things done that we honestly are not breathing the way that we should be on a daily basis. Most of us function where we breathe just from here. So we're only breathing from the top part of our lungs. Think about how a baby breathes, right? When you see a baby breathe, they breathe way down, down deep in their stomach and that's where they breathe from. So if you can take even just two minutes a day and practice breathing, and I know that sounds crazy, but when we get into some of the deeper work, you're gonna wanna have this breath work ready so that you know how to calm yourself down, how to work through releasing energy, um, if we do energy work in the group, it's good to know how to breathe through it. Like, and it, it sounds so silly, but it's so important to learn how to breathe. Um, and if you're wanting to take this step further to where once you get done with this program, you're really connecting with your inner guidance, breathing is going to be one of the biggest keys. So breathing is almost more important than meditation. And I know that's a bold statement to say, but you really honestly can't get in a true state of meditation if you can't breathe. <laughs> right? So if you're constantly in that space, and I know there's a lot of us, I just saw somebody the other day on one of my posts said, oh my God, I forget to even breathe. Like I hold my breath sometimes. And I really think that we do that. Like we we're in such a hurry and we're always doing things, right? We're always on the run. And we, if you stop and just think about it, I bet you'd be surprised how much you catch yourself that you're only breathing from the top part of your lungs and you're not actually getting down deep into into the deep breathing. So there's a few techniques that I really like to use. Um, I am going to say, you know, if you're stuffy, it's good to, um, you know, blow your nose if you need to. If you have some oils, I'm going to actually use, it's called Typhoo oil. Um, and it's really good to like awaken. It's good for all kinds of things, but it's really good to open up. I'm going to do that just because I do have allergies. And so to keep my sinuses clear, especially for you guys <laughs> on this thing, I'm going to use this, but oh, it smells so good too. It's like really, oh, it just smells good. Um, anyway, so the pass that your passages are open. You're going to want that in the beginning when you first do this. Now I will say like, I don't know if any of you guys, I was total band nerds. So I played band. I was in the, the choir, all those kind of things. You have to learn how to breathe from your diaphragm. And when you do that, if you haven't been breathing from your diaphragm in a long time, you might get lightheaded. So don't practice this too fast in the beginning. Like just give yourself two minutes in the beginning, just two minutes of breathing so that you're not getting lightheaded. You're not making yourself dizzy or sick. And I know that sounds crazy, but anybody that's been in band that had never played an instrument and then figured it out and played it for a long period of time, you get dizzy. Like it, it's so much oxygen. Your brain is like, what's going on? And it's like, it makes you all crazy dizzy and everything. So like, don't practice the breathing. I know that sounds like a really thing, but I'm telling you, don't practice it too much in the beginning. Start with a couple minutes and move into more. Okay. So the techniques that I want to go over specifically is one of them is called equal breathing. Okay. All that is, is breathing in and out for the same count. So whether that's, you know, four or eight or whatever, go with what feels good to you in the beginning. You don't want to breathe too, too long because again, you don't want to wear yourself out, but like, um, Sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, whatever feels right. So if three or four feels good to you, that's fine. You breathe in for the three or four, and then you breathe out for three or four, whatever that is. So again, you're just going to breathe in and out. So you may have to take a couple deep breaths in the very beginning um, and just kind of like breathe in as much as you can and just <sighs> sigh it out. Okay. Cause sometimes you just got to get there. And I, I just got back from running to town. And so 
I'm a little bit in that space. So I just need to relax for a minute so that I can even do these breathing techniques. Okay, so that being said, take a deep breath. Plus I'm trying to talk through this, so that doesn't you know, help with that either. But okay, so equal breathing in, out. And you just wanna kind of make it even. So in, out. Okay, and you can do that as controlled as you want breathing in and out for the same amount of time. And if you need to for yourself, just count. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, okay? So that's kind of one of the ways to do the equal breathing. The one thing that I don't know that I have on the list is um, a lot of times there's a different, and this one's actually the most powerful to calm yourself down right away. Um, in yoga, they call it ocean breath. But basically what you want to do is with your mouth kind of open, which sounds weird when you have your mouth closed, but you want to breathe in through your nose and then out through your nose. But if you have your mouth in an open space, you'll feel in the back of your throat um, how the vibration of the breath works. And so you'll go And I don't know if you can hear it in the recording. I hope that you can. But what happens is inside that breath, as you breathe it in, and then as you breathe it out with your mouth closed, but kind of open in the back of your throat, it's going to force the air through. What happens is it'll make a sound and you'll hear it in your ears. And it sounds a little bit like the ocean, which is why they call it ocean breath. But what that does is the air actually causes a vibration in the back of your throat. And then the nervous system, which is all combines right here at the back of your throat, there's one specific nerve in the back and it starts with a V and I never can remember what it's called, but there's a specific nerve that that vibration stimulates that nerve and it automatically calms you down. So that kind of breathing, which is called ocean breath. And again, you just breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, but with that open throat in the back. Um, and just let me know if you have questions about this, because this one's kind of tricky. But again, it's just. Okay, that automatically is going to calm you down. Sometimes just. A couple minutes, 30 seconds of that is enough to kind of calm you down. Okay. The next thing that I want you guys to focus on, this is where I was talking about with the baby, right? The babies always breathe from way down in their stomach. So it's that abdominal breathing. Now, sometimes you don't realize that you're, you're not breathing from your diaphragm and sometimes you, you don't realize it. But the one way that you can do this is just, and sometimes like if you can just lay down and relax and just put your hands on your, one on your stomach and one on your chest and just see where the movement is, Right because you may not even realize that you're not breathing from your diaphragm. Like you may be like, no, I breathe fine. And then you're, if you lay down and really consciously look at where you're breathing from, you may be surprised that you're not breathing from your diaphragm. Like you normally, like when you're a baby, how you first learn to breathe, like it's way down deep. But because we get in this flight or fight, we're constantly kind of ramped up. We don't do the belly breathing as much anymore. Now I did drop, um, I think it's Blue Cross that has a really good PDF that I found. And, and all of the resources that I have, if they're PDFs that aren't mine, they're free resources online anyway. So you can find them anywhere. Like, and I always try to say exactly where they came from. So um, that resource is there for you. And it's a really good way to say, um, to, to understand abdominal breathing and what that means. So um, another technique is called progressive relaxation breathing. Okay. So this is where you're going to focus and you're going to, sometimes you maybe have heard somebody say, well, breathe into it or, you know, something like that. And you're like, what does that even mean? That means focus on a certain area. So if you know that your shoulders are really, really tight, you're going to want to focus on breathing and relaxing your shoulders. So the whole time you're breathing, all you're doing is just relaxing on or focusing on relax the shoulders, relax the shoulders. Okay. So that's kind of what a, it, it's more of a, directed breathing where you're focusing on an area, but like if you focus on that muscle group and inhale and then release with the breath and relax the muscles as you breathe. Okay. The other one is an alternate nostril breathing. Now I've actually seen some different ways where they do this. Sometimes people get really creative with it, but the basic idea is just to 
again, calm you down. And it's really good if you feel disconnected or if you feel disoriented or if you feel like you're running around like a crazy person. So I don't want to get too redneck, but chicken with head cut off, running around all crazy and whatever. Like sometimes it's just because you're, you're the right and left hemisphere of your brain is not working together and you're literally feeling scattered. This is one that can help you recenter and bring everything back together. So that being said, it's just alternate breathing and it's just like what it says. So you use a finger or a thumb or whatever and you, you plug one side and you breathe in and then you breathe out and then breathe in through the other side. So it's, I'm going to have to get some more stuff. See, here goes the, um, here goes the uh, sinuses again. Okay, so inhale on this side, then exhale, and then inhale this side. Seems silly, totally works, okay? Ooh, that's just potent. Can you guys see my eyes are watering a little bit? Anyway. So that is some of the breathing techniques that you can do. And that breathing, it, it's tricky in the beginning. And I know it seems silly, but this is one of those things where I'm asking you to trust me, just play along, just see how it feels. I wouldn't do all of them at once. Like I wouldn't do them all in one sitting because again, I don't want, if you're not in that space of breathing deep, I don't want anybody getting a headache or getting dizzy or anything like that. So just take it one step at a time and then we'll talk about it in the group. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.